I don't think anybody needs to necessarily try to hold themselves to uh, sainthood status tomorrow. Uh, but I think there's a few few things to try to keep in mind. One thing that we always do is we overeat. Uh, so we will uh, we will eat until we just can't eat anymore. Um, that as a habit is really not a good thing. That even in the course of a single day is not necessarily a good thing. It's probably a lot better off to... Uh, uh, eat a few different times, uh, smaller uh, portions than just one overstuffed portion for sure. Uh, so if if you can sort of uh, uh, spread your food out over the three football games tomorrow instead of just trying to trying to get in within halftime of one of them, you're probably better off for sure. So so uh, we can say tomorrow I can eat all day because Dr. Lim said it's better to eat all day than just eat once at the end of the day. As long as you're thankful while you're eating, I'm good with that. My God. <laughs> All right. Fair, fair enough. But I, I think your point, though, is you don't have to be a saint tomorrow. You can eat tomorrow. And as uh, so many people say, you, you know, bad, uh, you're not unhealthy for making one bad decision. You're unhealthy because you've made a series of bad decisions. Right. So you got uh, 365 days a year, most years, uh, except for leap year. And uh, I think the question is, how many of those 365 did did you do a really good job in uh, from from a health standpoint, uh, uh, trying to better yourself, trying to uh, live as healthy as possible? Now, if you can get to 365, God love you. Um, but you get you pull 355 or 360 of those off. Uh, I think that's phenomenal. Yeah. Uh, there are there are days. There, New Year's is a day. Christmas is a day. Maybe your birthday, Thanksgiving. You know, you can. Uh, there's some days that are, that are definitely worthy of celebration. Uh, 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 you got it. Especially if Michigan upends Ohio State, that's a day of celebration too, isn't it? Yeah, that one's going to have to come off my list of uh, 365 minus another one. We got a we got a big tussle going down on Saturday. You know, the other the other thing, my girl, we want to talk about. So a lot of times on Thanksgiving, we're making meals for other people within our family or extended family. And uh, uh, one of the things that happens uh, every Thanksgiving since I've been in St. Louis uh, taking care of folks is uh, there's an overindulgence of salt. Uh, mm-hmm. And there are some people who are very salt sensitive, and uh, uh, salt sensitivity is one of those things which uh, is problematic for two different folks of people. Uh, there are some people with high blood pressure, uh, and eating too much salt uh, actually forces their blood pressure to come up, and it really puts them into a, a big uh, and problematic state. And then there's some other people who... Uh, have had episodes of congestive heart failure and uh, need to watch how much fluid that they're holding on to. Um, they're usually on water pills or, or something called Lasix. Uh, these folks uh, have to really be careful, and they, they can't afford that one day off uh, of not necessarily eating healthy from a salt standpoint. So, uh, you know, another thing to do is to try to make sure that you're aware of who's coming to your house and uh, uh, or if you're cooking a dish and you're bringing it, you know, who else is going to be eating it? And uh, uh, if you have salt sensitive people that are there, either make sure it's, it's well known, uh, you know, your, your particular dish, whether it's the way you made your green bean casserole or, or how much salt you put in your, in your, uh, your baked potato um, or your, your mashed potatoes, you know, let right. them know or, or hold the salt back yeah. and, and let that salt come on uh, for those people who can afford to eat salt, you know, uh, uh, let them put it on after the fact when it's already on their plate uh, so that everybody can enjoy. Great tip. Great tip. Uh, Dr. Michael Lim, cardiologist with Slough Care at SSM Health Slough Hospital. Doctor, thank you for your help throughout the year. Um, happy Thanksgiving, and we'll talk to you next week. Yeah, happy Thanksgiving to you and everybody out there. Be safe, and uh, we'll see you next week. Go Blue. Go Blue. <laughs>